when is this going to end? When am I not going to be in pain? You know, I, I used to tell my mom, you could cut off my right arm and I don't think the physical pain from that would be any more than the f- emotional pain I'm feeling. You know, a lot of times that negative interaction is all you have left. Right. And uh, and so it's tempting to continue to do your dance, whatever that is, that you're doing during the marriage that escalated the conflict. And you keep doing this and you don't want to stop or you or you physically can't stop because it's almost like it's hardwired. That's part of what keeps you stuck in that pain is continuing to have that interaction and and all that kind of thing i mean that's part of why we say you know don't call don't text don't you know one of the orders i personally hate from the court is reasonable telephone contact when the child's in the other parents care conflict in the parenting plan conflict with each other and you know litigation through the courts are all things that cause the pain to be prolonged I agree. I agree with that. Because it's pulling the scab off those emotional wounds over and over and over again at every point. You know, I went around and I started looking at houses, not because I was ready to buy a new house, uh, but because I wanted to, to start shifting my vision towards a future without my ex. And, you know... There, there's a certain part of of divorce that requires you to take an inventory of your life and to decide what's really important. It focuses you on what's really important. That's true. Well, and people tend to think that they're just going to wake up one morning and it's suddenly going to have stopped. And, you know, the pain is a source of the grief And the grief doesn't just stop. It comes in waves. And you have to ride those waves.